Dear Earth2 players and community, I hope all is well and that you've been keeping safe. I have always had a personal aspiration for Earth2 to help Earth1, somehow, and to that extent I have been speaking with people from the eco-warrior and humanitarian charity fields over the course of the past year about how Earth2 might approach this in a meaningful and effective way. I was apprehensive about announcing these future plans to the community at large as I felt we needed to first get the foundations of Earth2 established, such as the Essence Token, the minting of lands as NFTs as a step towards decentralization, and the initial gameplay inside version 1 of the 3D Earth we are developing. This was the plan, but a recent turn of events in Ukraine which has directly affected a number of people in our team, along with the internal discussions I've had with my peers, has caused me to rethink this approach and make an official statement about our intentions at Earth2 in this area moving forward. Earth2 has a number of team members located in Ukraine and Russia and Poland, Romania and other areas close to the conflict zone in Europe, many of which have been and continue to be directly affected due to the recent events. One of our developers in Ukraine has actually had to take up arms. He literally swapped his keyboard for a gun. It is just insane. Can you imagine how scary that would be? One of our game designers is helping refugees cross over the border into Poland at night and working on Earth 2 through the day. And in addition to this, he is assisting with administrative ta uh, tasks around refugee placements and reconciliation of family members. Another of our senior game developers has been donating his time to helping refugees at his local parish, as well as donating his own personal funds. There are other Earth2 team members located in Ukraine as well, some of them working from basements, and further team members in the general area who continue to help directly or indirectly in some way, shape or form. We also have a number of developers in Russia caught up in the ramifications of a war they did not ask for. One of our Russian developers in particular even reached out to me directly to notify me of a Ukrainian team member who was in trouble and to ask if we could send that Ukrainian teammate a bonus, which of course we obliged to do. The whole situation is devastating. It breaks my heart. It has made me realize that when members of my team are directly caught up in this type of situation, it heightens my own sense of responsibility. And though, although I cannot be there to physically assist while my teammates are, I have personally donated a five-figure amount specifically to help women and children caught up in the conflict at present. And I will continue to donate not only to the Ukrainian crisis, but to those in areas around the world in need. I am so proud of my team. We have so many good people working for Earth2, and they do so many good things above and beyond their day-to-day -day tasks. It's very difficult to focus on building new and exciting things, but while you have team members directly suffering in a conflict, and this is what prompted me to make this video today. I believe that we, as a team and as a community, not only need to feel we are working on building the exciting, massive, open world of, of the Earth2 metaverse, but that Earth2 will help Earth1 become a better place long term. So our progress will not only directly be benefit the players, but also help people and areas around the world inside of Earth1 who are not part of Earth2 and need help, however, whoever, and wherever that may be in the world. So today I pledge that Earth2 will have an ongoing commitment to develop meaningful initiatives that align with a general precept of Earth2 providing ways to help Earth1. This will not only allow for our team to focus on creating, building and designing cool things on Earth2, but also have a sense of awareness that what we as a team are putting our time and effort into creating these cool things will have a positive impact on the people and the environment of Earth One. The incredibly creative foundation we are slowly setting in place for Earth Two, such as the EcoSim, will provide numerous interesting and engaging methods we can utilize to measure how that help from Earth Two to Earth One is achieved and calculated. 
I'll be looking at options we have that would also allow the community to become involved in that process too. We set out to create a one-to-one -one scale digital replication of Earth, and our team is focused on solving the most challenging problems first. We want the buildings and the contents of this open world to have aesthetic variety with thousands of customizable buildings and objects, and for all of this to stream efficiently on a massive scale. We're focused on ensuring that tile locations are accu accurately represented inside of our 3D planet, that shorelines are correct, that height map data is on point and biomes are visually represented with consistent accuracy. We want to ensure that massive player constructions are visible from space, so that depending on the size, you'd be able to see things like megacities and from great distances. We're working on transportation methods, and we're already creating three model, 3D models of those which are in production. We have a new team of concept artists providing a creative variety of buildings and objects that are being constructed into compatible 3D models using the proprietary technology we've been actively developing. There is a lot going on behind the scenes and over the next few days we will begin to share some of this progress starting with a video demonstrating a prototype of a proprietary distant terrain system we built toward the end of last year. This will be followed up by other videos focusing on first tier ecosim buildings and the proprietary technology we're developing around those too. In addition to this, we have other engineering teams focused on releasing updates and new features that will have relevance in the long term goals and plans for Earth 2. So in relation to this, in the short term, we're looking at a significant update to the bidding hub, which is part of a much bigger development that is confidential right now, but I can tell you is very exciting. We have new stats coming on the leaderboards. We have the, the ability for players to be able to flag questionable EPLs. An update is coming for the notification hub. The hollow building security update is also coming, and that will be a copy prevention a copy prevention key which paves the way for hollow buildings to be sold between players at, on the system. And as you and I know, I feel very passionate about providing methods for creative people to build and sell their creations and products of work inside of Earth 2 to other players, which obviously benefits players over Earth 2. We have also updated we also have the updated essence generation algorithms coming, and those will fit closer with our tokenomic system model. And we th I'd, I'd just like to take a moment to thank all the players for their patience while, as we get this deployed. We had the option of ceasing F essence production altogether until we deploy this update in the future, but we decided to work on it in real time so that players could at least continue to receive some essence during this period. And I will comment once more, it will start to become more difficult to generate essence to en so enjoy the current simplicity of essence production while it lasts. This coming update will provide more stability and will be deployed in parts. We will also start to support the display of fractions of essence in production so players can see progress on accumulating essence but I'm not sure whether this will be ready in the first update or not. Once again, we thank you for your patience. That was the short term stuff. Now, the midterm stuff, which is not too far away, and we're likely talking about quarter two, 2022. In that area, we're looking at the first part of the resource release, which is huge. And that will be followed by the player resource validation system which is also massive and will give players the ability to stake claims to resources our initial data system may miss. So to make this clear, we're not just allowing players to individually decide which resources they have on their property. What we're saying is that if our extensive data resource system comprising of over 500 gigabytes of data misses a resource that a player believes should exist on their property, and that player can provide evidence to support their claim, they can lodge a report which other players will be able to publicly review and validate. Claims with a higher number of validate validations will be reviewed by our final team for approval faster, and successful validators will be rewarded. And just quietly, 
This system is serving as a test for bigger things that we have to come, so keep posted on that. This means that we will also see the first essence reward system in quarter two. And we will have the ability to verify and we, well, we, we, we will be providing the ability for players to verify and list megacities. The official release of the white paper is planned for quarter two as well. The first of the physical Earth 2 uh, MasterCards should be in circulation too by that time. We will also see a community gallery page where community created content is displayed. And finally, we're also working on a massive update to our new landing page that should be ready around that general time as well. So we're also working on our updated white paper, the Essence tokenomics and our general Web3 deployment, which is also a massive task. I would also say that I want Essence to become one of the most expansive detailed utility tokens in history and this will become more apparent over time as we release further features. Even after pointing out all these features and tasks, there are still a number of other things our team is working on at present, but I will not cover those here today. There is a lot going on behind the scenes. We have been heavily focused on building things while we continue to expand our team and lock in new people in key roles across the entire company. And I can tell you, we have some amazing new talent added to the Earth2 team recently who are already pro very proactive and adding incredible value to the project. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this update. There is no doubt we have some very exciting things in store for 2022. I only covered some of them. The second half of 2022 will bring even more. It is my honor to be sharing these things with all the players and the progress that we share together from all areas around the world and those supporting our, our vision. Thank you so much and keep safe.